first person that really inspires me is, is Rosa Parks. The people I work with, I just work with some really amazing people, people who dedicate their whole lives to supporting people with mental health and learning disabilities. In the bravest of manners to, to do what essentially changed history, I find really, really inspirational. Parents, I think our parents are always a big part of our life. From the moment you're born, they nurture you. I don't want to sound too cliche, but I'm going to call out my mum. The first one has to be my mum. It would have to be my mum as well as bringing up kids, running a farm. She's managed to do an awful lot of charity work and good for her local community. She was passionate, she was purposeful, and she absolutely felt uh, that it was all about the difference that you made in the world. She's met loads of challenges in her life and she's done all of it whilst creating an atmosphere of support and love and care. I can confess that actually Juliet Bravo, um, which was many, many moons ago, I can remember seeing her um, as a positive, confident um, policewoman and thinking I really love A, what she's doing in terms of policing and how interesting it was, but also the fact that a woman could do that. My grandfather, he worked until the Day he died when he was 87. My grandmother is my biggest inspiration. My grandparents were Moroccan Jews and they were attacked during a pogrom in a place called Gerida in 1948. And my grandmother was attacked with a machete and was left for dead. And when my grandfather went to retrieve what he thought was her body, he pulled her out from this pile of corpses and she gasped for air. She was still alive. Despite the horrors that she experienced, I've never once seen her hate or resent or treat anyone with anything but empathy and compassion. We have over 25,000 carers registered with us here in West Sussex. Every single one of them, every day, do tough, but wonderful things for other people. So our carers here in West Sussex, they inspire me.